Yo, what's up, people? This is Soberly Fion 9055 back again with another video for you guys. Uh, today it's just gonna be a short vlog. I just got done watching Trainer's video. Uh, congrats to you, Trainer, for making top eight today. Nice job. Uh, I'll be trying to do my best too in my video. Um, when I ever get to go to league and everything, get the tournament going, I will try my best to make top eight. But, uh, anyway. Uh, I'm not really doing much today. I just got done eating breakfast and all that. I actually was able to clean up my room somewhat. I just got to make my bed and everything, but I was able to get my clothes and stuff put up. Uh, this stuff is on my brother's side, so that's, that's not my stuff. But yeah, I um, was able to clean up the room. I was able to also, because my input back there, my one of the inputs that are back there, I plug up my computer and stuff too. It turns on and off sometimes. I don't know why. So we was able to go ahead and me and my grandmother was able to go ahead and move it back here so it's all right over there now which in my opinion i like because one there's more space back here now so i don't have to worry about just shoving my bike back here and two because that input's actually better it stays on so i don't have to worry about my food getting messed up so that's the good stuff right there but anyway um recent events uh I was actually able to, and this is out of one pack right here. Let me, let me pull this pack out real quick. I mean, not my pack, my deck. I made two updates to both my decks. Uh, Umbreon right here and Glaceon. Uh, not really big ones. Well, some big... I made some changes to all my decks, actually, over the weekend. Uh, the day I did my... Wait, let me raise the camera up here. But the day I did my Leafeon deck... I'm um, in my Espeon deck profile, if you guys watched that, I was actually, like, sorting out all my decks, trying to get them really competitive. Like, I was watching tournaments, I was playtesting, it was great. Um, but, what do you call it? I was actually able to trade my friend one of these. I mean, not, not trade, that. I was able to buy one pack, right? And got this. Full Art Glaceon GX. So I'm actually playing Quad Glaceon now. I also need to get some, what you call, matte sleeves. I forgot what they're called. But the matte sleeves are able to cover these really cool lily sleeves. I don't want these to get messed up. I took those really flimsy sleeves off of here because I really didn't like it. It bothered me. So I've been playing with this deck too much because I don't want to screw up the sleeves. So uh, whenever I get a chance, like the next time I get paid, I'm going to get sleeves to protect these. Uh, I've been looking at the sleeves online. And so far, the ones I like are the border ones, the ones... Uh, what do you call it? The KCM border sleeves that I can cover those. I like those. So those are the ones I'm going to be buying offline. But uh, other than that, recent events also, this is from last week actually, when we was testing out some decks. I was actually able to beat uh, my friend's Glaceon, Quad Glaceon Garbodor deck with my Umbreon, which is pretty nice. Uh, we went four rounds. Uh, if it was best two out of three, I would have won. I won the first round. He won the s no, he won the first round. I couldn't get set up fast enough. I didn't get an Umbreon or an EV until I probably turned four, got wrecked. Um, what do you call it? Second round, he didn't start out with anything. I just took the win there with Hoopa. Third round, we took a long time to do. Uh, that's where my Umbreon deck really shined. I uh, was able to spread damage around with Coco. And all that good stuff. So, it's actually make me want to play Umbreon GX more now. Because even though both decks are similar and Glaceon can stop the first turn Lele. This deck has more to work with, in my opinion. Especially, uh, Zork GX's uh, move. The Trickster GX came in real handy in one of the matches I was playing. So, I liked it a lot. But, like, overall rounds, uh, if we don't count rounds, we did four matches. Uh, both of us took two and two, so. It wasn't bad, but it just goes to say that, like, even though there's a deck with a good ability, there's still a chance that uh, other deck that's probably either similar or um, maybe even a little bit different can go ahead and take the win. And really, uh, when I was going against Glaceon, it didn't affect me that much. You know why? Because if it didn't have the Garb out, I was still able to get all my Umbreon's out, and the only thing that he'd be stopping is Zorak, which really didn't help uh, hurt me that much. In fact, actually, um, the thing that really, and this is like the MVP of the day, that really helped me out was like the Enhanced Tamers. I play two in this deck right now. I was recommending playing three, but I'm sticking with two so it doesn't get clunky. But that's the thing that saved the day. Like, this deck is Energy Denial. It's not as much as it used to be when I was playing Hammers. 
but I am still playing the enhanced cameras. I still, if I wanted to, to use Dark Call. But yeah, I want to do a small deck profile with this deck. Just show you guys my list. I've been doing an update on it. Just show you guys my list because I think that this would be really good right now. Even though there's Buzz 1 stuff running around, I got Hoopas to counter. And if we start out really well, then we could possibly be able to beat those kind of decks. Then again, like if I ever go into a tournament, I'm most likely going to use Leafeon. Just because I want to be able to counter the whole, um, what do you call it, Buzzwell Lycanroc theme. And also be able to counter maybe any Glaceons in there. But, uh, I'm going to get the deck set up and then I will be right back. Peace. Alright, we're back at the board state. Uh, actually need to finish reorganizing everything real quick. Yeah, but I like this deck a lot. I've been doing Umbreon deck profiles for a long time, and I know I posted the last video with Umbreon, and it was going to be my final one, but I like this one a lot. And plus, it was a really cool achievement that I was able to actually beat Glaceon with this deck, because people like wrote off Umbreon just because Glaceon had the same attack, had an even better GX attack, I can admit that much. Um, and the ability was just nice. Everything about it is just nice. I just don't like the fact that if you want to play Zork with it, it's not that good. It's just that one factor. Um, because Zora GX is good because of the trade ability, but it's even better if you get to use the GX move, which is why I like playing Umbreon. Because if you're playing Zora, which like everybody else is doing right now, then you actually get the chance to use the GX move. Like if you need to. You're not stuck just using Umbreon's GX move. You can use that one. And Trickster GX, for those of you guys who don't know, which I'm pretty sure all you do know, you can pretty much use any move that your opponent has. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. And it came in clutch, too. Um, it was um, part of the game, the last game that I played, where um, all my Pokemon on the bench were damaged and all that like that. I set up my Zork already really early. I switched it out. Uh, went ahead. He had a Tapu Lele on his bench. And I went ahead and just used Tapu Lele's Cure GX move. Healed all my Pokemon up. And then I was able to take the game because I got really ahead after that. But anyway, I'm going to get this all set up for you guys. And we'll be right back. Alright, we're all ready, we're all set. I got the deck ready, right here for you guys. So, uh, we're just gonna go through this quickly. Uh, you guys probably already seen this deck plenty of times on my channel, so I'm just gonna go through a quick run-through of what we changed, and also the deck cards we put in. So, let's get this started. So, first off, as you probably already know, we are playing a three line of Umbreon GX, our main attacker in this deck, so we want to be hitting for 90, and hitting for the bench, that's our is the spread damage around. And I also like the strafe attack because it's free retreat, wind dark energy, so it's pretty nice. And then you got dark call for GX. Basically just discard two energies from off your opponent's Pokemon. Next we're also playing a four line of EV as usual. We want to be able to get that EV out first turn, evolve, and then get all of our Umbreon set up. Next we're also playing a two two line of Zora GX and Zorua. I'm technically actually thinking about playing a three line of it since the Zora GX is really good in this deck. But for now, we're just playing the two two line. It's great, it's good, and I like it a lot. Next, we're also playing a three line of the Hoopa with the ability Scantral Guard. Uh, basically, it's got to be our wall for the deck, and it's a great attacker. You could do 110 damage with it if you attach a choice band, and GX can't touch you. And last but not least, our support Pokemon, another starter Pokemon we might want to start with, is the Tapu Koko with Flying Flip. Every time I started with this card, it either goes bad or good. It depends on what kind of deck you're going against and how good your opponent starts with. But I like it a lot, too, because if your opponent starts really bad, then you can just free retreat and then just attack. Uh, with your main attacker, if you already got energy attached to it, and then do some really good damage. And it's really good even late game, because your opponent's already set up, so you can spread damage around, and it's only one prize trade. And that's pretty much it for all of our Pokemon. Next up, we're also playing our supporters. We are playing a four line of Cynthia, of course, because Cynthia is our main supporter in this deck. We don't like to discard stuff, so that's why we're playing four of it. It's really nice. Jumping hand draw six. 
an extra. Also playing a three line of Guzma. I like it a lot because um, it gives you some free, it gives you some treat, and also be able to pull out your opponent's Pokemon. It's basically the Lysandre of your deck. Just get the retreats, escape room for yourself, and you get to switch out one of your opponent's Pokemon. We're also playing a two line of N. Uh, we used to play four of these, but we only want to play two in this deck because we don't want to shuffle our opponent's hand at all, especially if they have a bad hand. So, that's why we're playing two of this, and it's also a good late game, which is one I like to prefer to use in this card. Next, we're also playing a two line of Sycamore. We still can do the draw seven cards, but I don't like this card and stuff like I said, which is why we're playing four Cynthia over the three, four Sycamore. And that's pretty much it for our supporters. This guy's trying to get it all organized here. Next up are our items. Let me move all this over. So, items, of course. Get all that in my hand. It's been a while since I've done Well, actually, it hasn't been a while. I just did SP on some. Never mind. <laughs> but, our items, we are playing a three line of choice band. I like it because we get to do max damage we want. I might. Do a four line, but I don't know what to take out at the moment, so this is what we're staying with for now. We're also playing a two line of choice band, not choice band, float stone, uh, free retreats, always good. We normally attach these either to our Zorax or our Hoopas. Most of the time, it's our Zorax though, because we want to move it out of the active so it doesn't get knocked out. But I like it with the Hoopa too, because you get to free retreat it out of the way and all that good stuff. We're also playing a two line of pal pad. Now the reason I'm playing two pal pad, people recommend only using one because it doesn't take up space and it's kind of overkill. But I like using two pal pad because as you guys can see, we're only playing a six, you know, eight supporters in this deck that draw. So we like to refresh our Cynthia's most of the time, our ends that we have to use in our sycamores. So that's why I like playing two pal pad. Next, we're also playing a two line of enhanced hammer. Now uh, a couple of my friends have been talking about enhanced hammer and how it's probably not that good right now but i like it in this deck for good reason it's not only good in sylveon in my opinion it's because one um this card special energy almost every deck in the meta currently uses special energy one and two uh even if we don't need it we have zorark right here to discard it and get rid of it that's why i'm even playing it in this deck because we had no way to get rid of it besides sycamore of course then it'd be a dead card in our deck but so far, meta, we got Lycanroc Zork, we got Buzzwool, we got all these special decks that play Colorous Energy. So, Enhanced Timber is really good in the meta right now. We're also playing the two line of Field Blower. Now, the only way, uh, like I said, I was able to beat the Espeon, not the Espeon Garb, the Glaceon Garb, was I saved my Field Blower, so I, the Cynthia's for the Field Blower, put it back in your deck instead of discarding it, is really nice. Because you get to wait until all your opponent gets all their stuff out, then get rid of all their good materials, and then the, the cards are pretty much dead on the bench. So, Field Blower is another MVP in that deck. So, because Guard shuts off abilities, all of them, so you don't get to use your EVs if you have them on the bench and all that. But that wasn't really an issue when I was playing against Garb. I always got, I always usually had at least two Umbreon out, maybe a Hoopa. Uh, that's the only reason I even wanted to get rid of the Garbs, because Hoopa stopped the Glaceon. But, you know. Uh, we're also playing a two line of Ultra Ball. Always nice to search for other Pokemon that we need in our deck. And then our one of that we're playing in the deck, we are playing a one Rescue Stretcher, one Super Rod, one Nest Ball, and one Special Charge. And now, last but not least, our support stadiums. We are playing a two line of Alter the Moon. And then our energies. We're, of course, playing a eight line of Dark Energy right here. And we're also playing a four line of DCE. So, overall, in my opinion, uh, this deck was pretty successful against Glaceon. I haven't played a Zorak Liking Rock deck. In fact, I haven't seen any Buzzwall at my league at all. In fact, at my league, if I was able to record most of it, uh, and I think I have before, but if you guys go to my league, or you've been there before, or uh, you watch my channel in Solid League, most of the players there are playing the Dust Main Lycanroc right now. Uh, I'm in Dust Main 
not Viking Rock, just mean the Charisma, the Steel type one. A lot of people are playing that with Magnet Zoning. It's just like crazy. Like I think I know what uh three people there who are playing it. I'm pretty much the only one there playing Umbreon. Uh, also got another player who's playing Dustman Like a Rock and Glaceon. So that was nice. So there's just a variety of decks, but most of the decks I've seen there have been uh the Dawn Wings, the Charisma. So we'll have to make a way around that. Uh, this deck, it, in my opinion, against Dawn, Dustman Like and Rock. I mean, Dust. Well, I keep saying Lycan Rock, I keep want to say Necrozma, gosh dang it. Dust main Necrozma, this deck going against it, this current energy is not what you want to do. Because they're just going to get it back with Mount Cornet, and it doesn't matter if you discard it. Because they have ways to get it back, it's just crazy. Um, This deck, in my opinion, is, I give it, with the meta that it is right now, I give it an 8 out of 10. It has a chance against Lycan Rock Zorif. And the only chance it has, actually, in my opinion, is the Hoopas. Like, if you start out with Hoopa, and they don't, like, and they evolve straight away and all that nonsense, and you just have Hoopas out, and they only have Life and Rocks and all that, you could probably win out like that, because, um, they're all GXs. So, there's no way for them to attack, you could take knockouts and all that, but most of the time you want to get your Umbrellas and stuff out, so. But, uh, against the meta that I have seen so far... Deck's decent, not the best, but I want to try and be like one of those guys who are unorthodox, don't go with the meta, be able to play my own original deck and all that good stuff. But without further ado, um, that's pretty much it for the blog. Um, it was just a short vlog. I was just telling you guys when deck uh, events have been going on at League. It's been raining a lot too, so let me show you guys the weather right now, the forecast. <laughs> but if you look outside right now, it's, well, uh, it stopped raining, but I am not taking any chances. I was actually going to go out to the mall and do a league vlog, but, nah. Don't trust the weather here. Washington, for those of you guys who don't know, has the most bipolar weather on the planet. Like, just yesterday, it was hailing, then snowing, then it stopped, and then it was raining again. It's just crazy weather. Um, I don't really like the, I don't like the rain that much, unfortunately. But... Uh, I can deal with it since I was not born here. I was born in Texas, but I was raised here, so weather to me is kind of, eh. I can deal with it, but without further ado, if you guys enjoyed the deck profile and the small video I did here, uh, please leave a like down below, comment down below also uh, how you think the deck is doing, uh, what can I make to improve the deck, all that good stuff, and also what you guys want to see me do on the channel. Because I haven't been engaging with the audience more. And I want to start doing that. Uh, also, tomorrow guys, I'm going to do a live stream. Uh, around probably 1, 2 o'clock. So you guys can stay tuned for that. It's going to be a hangout. I want to try and do more live streams. Maybe every Friday and Wednesday. So then you guys can be able to communicate with me. Be able to go ahead and tell me your ideas for stuff. And all that good things. But without further ado. Hope you guys enjoy your day. This is Silver Leafy on 9055 Vlogging out. Peace.